Hey everyone, it's Skiesti. Let's talk about Mercy's super jump change. I'm about to say the word so much in this video, you'll probably get sick of it. So buckle in and bear with me. I'll explain everything I've learned so far, including my new keybinds, the new super jump system, the old super jump system, and how to do both system text now, as well as pros, cons, and potential suggestions. On May 12th, we received a new developer blog post about the Overwatch 2 beta that partially discussed Mercy. We learned that they're experimenting with Mercy's super jump, and I'll quickly go over some of the most important parts for context. The full potential of Mercy is not unlocked until you've learned the techniques that accompany her kit, particularly the super jump. We want to take it a step further by making the ability to super jump more consistent for everyone, not just for the players who know the not so secret technique. Mercy's mobility has always been a core part of her kit, and we'll continue to look for ways to accentuate it and make it more accessible for everyone. On May 13th, a patch dropped for the beta that included their testing for Mercy's new super jump. Let's quickly cover how super jump works now. If you press crouch at any point during your guardian angel, you'll be launched into the air. You do not have to reach your target anymore to be able to super jump. And how high you go in the super jump seems like it's relative to the ally's height or distance. So how do I feel about it? Initially, I hated it. I was incredibly worried after reading the dev blog, but held off on making a video until I saw how it was actually implemented and able to give it a try for myself. My current stance on this iteration of Super Jump is that you're trading control for reliability and consistency, which feels both good and bad. It's less frustrating to have the ability be more reliable and to know that Super Jump will, without a doubt, be executed and it won't fail sometimes because of user error. On the flip side of that, this super jump suffers greatly from not being able to control your height. You need to be able to control your height in super jump. That part needs to be executed and optimized better. I really appreciate seeing the developers trying more extreme changes. In general, it's honestly just nice to know that they're looking into Mercy at all and that they're aware that she's not really in a good place right now. The more testing I did, the more excited I got about how her Super jump works now. Initially, the way that I had my keybind set up was incredibly unintuitive. Try to stay with me here while I explain all of this. Normally, I have Guardian Angel bound to shift and crouch to left control, and I press the two of them down at the same time to super jump. Right now, there are two different systems in place for Mercy's super jump. There's the new system and the old system that are existing at the same time. My current keybinds are GA bound to shift and crouch bound to left control, as well as a mouse button. The way my brain interprets this is that I have the new super jump system set up on shift and left control for easy immediate super jumps and the new tech that comes with the new system that I'll explain a bit later. And I have the old super jump system set up on shift and the mouse button. Anything that requires the old system, aka text like super jump res and v super jump are done using my mouse button. Dual key binding crouch makes the two systems work very intuitively, or maybe it's just the way that my brain and fingers work. But if you're struggling to be able to perform the different tech from both systems, I would highly recommend doing what I did. Everything became much more consistent as soon as I did this. Considering all of that, this is going to be a scalding hot take. But I think the new and old super jump systems working together might raise her skill ceiling despite many people believing this change is making her require even less less skill. I think it makes her more beginner friendly, but I think the nuances within the two systems, especially using them together, might actually be sort of challenging. I'm going to separate Mercy's tech into two sections. The first section will be the new tech, the ones that are part of the new system. If you super jump within about 3.5 meters of an ally, you perform what I've been calling the mega super jump, which gives you insane height. You're able to chain Mercy's super jump by super jumping, and then about one meter before you touch the ground, you can super jump again to chain it. If you add jump here and there, once you feel yourself starting to lose momentum, you can keep yourself constantly in the air. Another new tech she 
she's gained is the infinite super jump. To perform the infinite super jump, you need to press GA, crouch, and jump at the same time. Once you super jump, let go of GA and crouch, but never let go of jump. When GA gets off cooldown, GA and crouch again and keep repeating that process. And again, never let go of jump. The infinite super jump can be used in two different ways. The first one is that you can get into the skybox and basically stay there. However, you break beam range by doing so. The second way is that you can time your super jumps to keep yourself within beam range. It's obviously not the same thing as the skybox super jump and is a more practical way to use infinite super jump. Keep in mind this will not work well against hit scans, but it's more geared toward countering dive. Super jumping in Valkyrie has been made incredibly finicky and buggy in her new super jump system. The only assumption that I can make on why that is, is because crouch in Valk makes you descend and if you're holding crouch and pressing GA, it just ends up being really weird. <laughs> Moving on, we'll get into the old tech and how to still do it. You can still crouch GA by tapping crouch and GA at the same time, then immediately releasing crouch, but continuing to hold GA. Mercy's old super jump is also still in the game. To perform her old super jump, you have to perform her old crouch GA, and then either press crouch again sometime during the GA to super jump, or press jump once you reach your target. The new super jump easily interferes with the old one, making it harder to perform unless you have Crouch dual binded. The two systems working alongside one another does provide for an interesting interaction, which is the old super jump with mega super jump. If you do Mercy's old super jump and then press Crouch again at any point during Mercy's flight path, you'll super jump. And if you do so around 3.5 meters of your GA target, you'll do the mega super jump. Initially, I believed V super jump was taken out. When I was testing super jump res, I wondered if I could translate that method into doing the V super jump again, and you totally can. Standing on the high ground, if you press GA and crouch at the same time and immediately let go of crouch while jing down to your target, and then press crouch again once you reach your target, you'll fly back up. And speaking of super jump res, you can still do that. To perform a super jump res, simply perform her old crouch GA, the one that we were talking about earlier, and press jump when you're nearing your target and start res. Well, you can't super jump in Valk very well using the new super jump system, you can perform it properly using the old super jump system. In this Valkyrie here, I'm using a combination of the old super jump and V super jump. I was going to include a section of tech that was now clunky because of the new super jump system, like crouch GA, old super jump, and super jump res, but with the method that I mentioned earlier, as long as you have the specific timing down with a bit of practice, it's not too difficult to do anymore. One thing to note here is that in both systems, you can't super jump if you do a slingshot guardian angel and try to press crouch after you slingshot past your target. It just won't work. I want to talk pros and cons of the super jump change. The biggest pro of the new super jump system is that both the new system and the old system exist at the same time. This opens up a handful of new mercy tech as well as keeping the ability to do her old tech. I would assume that some of the more out there tech like the skybox super jump will eventually be patched though. Being able to super jump without having to be next to your guardian angel target adds extra utility and flexibility in super jumps timing. And it also allows you to be able to super jump while you're in the air. There's a small buff with the new super jump system where your GA cooldown starts right as you super jump compared to the old super jump system where super jump was technically part of your slingshot and the cooldown didn't start while you're in that slingshot. Prop jumps, wall slides, or being close proximity to allies now gives you greater height. The acceleration of super jump is faster now. Marissa can also basically perma fly outside of her ultimate and it's easier to spam super jump, but that can be seen as a negative as well. Outside the more technical aspects, it's great that the new super jump system makes the ability more accessible for players that weren't able to super jump before. And I know you're probably thinking, but it's so easy. And I kind of think that too. But there are people that still aren't able to do it. Those that couldn't super jump before are now able to utilize her entire kit and aren't missing out on her vital tech anymore. Lastly, being able to adjust super jump as an ability might lead to better maintaining, balancing, and fine tuning of super jump and its system. 
Hands down, the biggest con of all of this is that you can't control the height of your super jumps, meaning there's less versatility in the ability and there's a whole list of consequences because of it. Super jump was punishable before if you went too high and because of the decreased height control, it's much more punishable, especially when it means you're putting yourself into vulnerable, clear sightlines of the enemy, specifically head scans. Jumping too high with some of this tech will bring you out of beam range and cause free frequent and consistent beam disconnects that you won't be able to help. It might also bring you out of GA range in some cases. Another problem with the lack of height control is that you'll tend to overshoot some jumps by going too high and, for example, hitting the wall above a window when you meant to go through the window. You'll instead have to wait to fall onto the intended destination which is incredibly clunky. As well, Mercy players that were skilled in her old super jump system and able to utilize all of its different techs will have to reload learn how to use the ability in its new form and this will probably be difficult if you've got years of muscle memory to rewrite. Personally for me, I had GA on shift and crouch on left control and would press the two at the same time with my pinky. As I explained earlier in the video, I had to rebind my keybinds for it to feel less awkward and for me to actually have more flexibility to go between both super jump systems. More effort will now have to be put forth by Mercy players to relearn what they previously knew. One additional comment that is both a pro and a con is that the new super jump is a little bit higher than the old one is. This means that you're able to better get to high ground, but it can be dangerous to do. As we start to end off the video, I'm going to touch on some potential suggestions. I initially thought that it would be nice to be able to toggle this new super jump system on or off. So for example, toggle on would be this new system of super jump, and toggle off would be the old system of super jump. But because you can use them at the same time with dual binds, that might not be necessary as long as you put in the practice to use them both interchangeably. Like I've been stressing out this entire video, you need to be able to control the height of super jump. It's hard to control the height in either of the systems. Super jump as an ability just doesn't work well without being able to control how high you go. A suggestion to fix that might be to allow Mercy players to hold crouch to determine the height of their super jump. And I do appreciate them wanting to give Mercy better mobility, but it would also be great to see them focus on fixing the extent list of bugs Mercy has. Anyway, that's all from me for now. While I was initially incredibly against the new super jump ability, I'm starting to think that there's actually much more potential in this system as long as they keep both the new and old super jump systems in place and work more on being able to control the height. Please, please let us control the height, please. If there's one thing you do, please let us control the height. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the new super jump or anything I've talked about. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you next time. Thank you.